Okay, so we learned two things. There's this daily challenge sort of thing where you can get rewards based on your performance on leaderboards. So I'm probably going to do terribly. And uh, your unlocks and stuff also persist if I do a new game. So I could replay levels, but I'd have to do a whole new game. Which I'm not really willing to do right now. You know, I'll, I'll do a new game plus sort of thing, maybe. You know, I, I mean, I probably won't record it, but... Uh, kill 50 demon. Oh! Pff. And here I am, screwing around with stuff when I'm supposed to- this is a timed mission. Oh dang, they're placed all over the place, aren't they? Okay, so kill 30 demons. Simple enough, right? It's almost rude that they, like, actually placed stuff for you to get in a thing where, you know, you just want to go as fast as possible. I want. I, I, I'm not entirely sure how the rewards work exactly, but it did say, you know, it's based on how fast you do or how well you perform. I think taking damage will also lower my score. Yeah, I, I want. I want the high score, dude. Heck yeah. Yeah, you know, I'm. A, I'm a real gamer. I play real games. You know, not that casual scum stuff. Take that coin. Well, I think this stuff doesn't even like. I think this is only for this area too, like, I don't even know if this crap will affect me in main game. Okay, there's only six to kill. Ah. Okay. Five left. But where? Oh! There's three! Alright, where's the last ones? Aw, oh, come on! Where are you? Wait, what? Do they spawn more later? Or what's going on here? Okay. I guess this will do, but... I already checked that area. What? Did I accidentally press something? It's 204? Um... Hopefully there's just a lot of people playing. I don't know. Weekly survival challenge, sure. It was recorded and lost from the player this is their final resurrection icon. The players can save and exit safely from the light. So I'll put a score. Random elements are identical for all player. Alright, so the week the survival thing is a weekly. Yeah, let's take a look here. Hopefully dokely. This is one of those things where I, I feel like a sucker for not having played this before, because like, I had I had access to this for a while, but I I just had other stuff going on, and I I mean my my, my as a hobby this keeps me very very busy, and like I got you know I got a full time job, and uh, that is not this, and uh, you know, it's just the sort of thing where I, I really wish I could spend more time doing this sort of stuff than I really have any current ability to do. Oh. Pfft. It stopped my moving, or it stopped my shooting because I changed weapons. Eh, whatever. Holy crap, it's an instant kill on these guys. Perfect. I love this gun. I, I, as soon as I saw a railgun, I, I knew. It had to be amazing, or else. If you make a railgun in your game, and it's not amazing, uh, you failed. You have failed completely. I'm sorry. Less satisfying to use on those things, but uh, still seems pretty strong. All right, so is this the last level of the ship? Do we? Do we? Oh wait, no. I'm I'm thinking of the story. I think we leave the ship when we. Uh... Uh, see, I'm just thinking of this as like the main game, not you know, the sort of semi roguelike daily challenge thing, weekly challenge, I guess, but. And I guess a lot of people have a significant advantage because, you know, they're higher level and all that crap. Um, I guess enemies just respawn infinitely, or do I have to continue on, like, through full levels, or... I don't know. That's kind of why I did this, you know, to check it out, so... I don't know. No. There's, there seem to be objectives. Do 
transmutations. Oh, I can craft new weapons for Sarah. Okay, so I do keep my stuff from this. That's cool. I was a little worried there, but... It makes sense that I would be able to, really. <laughs> Jerk ass. Aw, oh, come on. Wriggling frond. Okay. Is that like a plant bit or a body bit or I don't know. I know I've heard that word before, but I can't place it. I have no memory of this place. Alright, I think we pretty thoroughly cleaned it up. Except for you. Oh, and except for here! Alright, my, my railgun fun time has pretty much come to a close. I guess I may as well use the last two charges so I don't accidentally keep it or something. So there's any enemies left. I hope I'm not charred, like, scored by time. Oh wait, what's in here? Uh, yeah, switch. And disintegrate- oh, It's got no ammo so I can't disintegrate it. Figures. This is revolvers. You know what? You know what? I want the metal more than I want the revolvers. Oh, my difficulty, like, my score is lower because of my difficulty, too. Yeah, I bet higher level people have, like, a way better chance at that. I'm just gonna save and quit, and, uh, I guess you can continue the survival in case you don't have enough time. But, uh,. This and save an exit, say quitting in any other location. End the run, but still upload the score. So I guess you gotta end the run to upload your score, but... I'll, I'll, I guess I'll continue that later. I hope it still uploads my score if I save and continue, but then the thing expires before I continue it. Yeah, let's... We should be seeing a new level type, I think? I guess? The Seraph. The Seraph has made it out alive. I was able to see you on the security cameras beneath the surface. Who are you? My name is Overseer Naziri. I am responsible for the running of the entire Congrangulus facility. Congrangulus. I'm sorry, I keep misspelling that. I'm spelling that. I, I misspell things with my mouth. Uh, or rather, I was. So you're my prisoner governor? My prison governor. Uh, is that a thing? Consider yourself marked with vengeance in his name. Wait, I recall you now. Talia, my vessel, thinks of you often. There are warm thoughts. You were kind to her? Yes, that's right. I've been looking for a way to free Talia for some time. And I'm now aiding you both in your escape. Oh, thanks. How else do you think all those gates and elevators between your cell and this location were unlocked? Oh, well, you're nice. So you're an ally to me. You have my gratitude. I am an ally to Talia only. I neither want nor need your gratitude. Talia won't be free until you lost her body. So now that you're free, just go. Leave her. I cannot. At least not yet. Okay. So we're gonna save Talia. I kind of assumed that the whole going back to heaven thing just meant Talia was gonna go poof. Oh hey! I get more ammo when I go to the next level. Oh wait, or did I already have this... Oh, the, going to the survival challenge thing confused me a lot. I don't know if this ammo is left over from the survival challenge or from the prior level or if it just refills my ammo. I, I don't know. Oh, open them chests. Oh, that was easy. New log entry. Set sail early today. Um, sapphire coin. Nah, give me some metal. Judging by its behavior, I believe we're trying to keep even the location of our young passenger a secret. But from whom, I do not know. She must be either very important or very dangerous. I'll keep the efforts. I'll make further efforts to speak with the Minister of the Faith, Stephen Kale, and see what I can find. Ah, oh, dang it. There wasn't much left. Anyway, so yeah. Just trying to find out what's going on, which... Reasonable. Oh. Hi. Thanks for being in a super annoying location. There you go. 
sport. Mark two. Nah. I'll get some metal. Oh, right. The teleporter's og. I keep forgetting about that. Oh, hey. The holy damage. I forgot about that. It's not crazy much, but it's better than nothing, I guess. I'm a, I'm a big fan of, like, extra passive ways to deal damage to stuff, like... In, um... In Ratchet and Clank, I always really like that, you know, there's lots of different passive things you can do. They're like, you can fire the, the disco ball thing, or you can fire Mr. Zircon, or, you know, just lots of passive stuff to pile up damage while using other, more active weapons. It's really fun. I guess not every shot penetrates, even with a penetrative weapon. So that's what that chance was about. Um, nah, I want the I want the metal parts. I think it was a good choice to get that railgun, even just to disintegrate it, because it's worth so much. Acquired some railgun ammo. See, and I get ammo from the chests, so I think I just want to keep using the chests for ammo or for metal once I have a weapon I want. Oh frick! I thought it was dead. I'm stupid. I really need to get used to the teleporty thing. It's like how I'm losing all of my freaking health. Oh, hello, boss. You're not really what I wanted to see right now, you know that? Holy crap, you do so much damage! What the hell? Okay. Tactical, tactical retreat. We're just gonna. Oh, frick. A little bit of health. Okay, hi. Yeah, I see you. Well, totally missed that spell. I really want something other than this gust of wind attack. Oh my god, he hurts so much! Okay. Ah, oh, frick. You fell a long way, buddy. What? He reflected bullets at me! The damage to him better stay. So when he's purple, he reflects bullets? Is that how this works? I, I swear he freaking reflected a bullet back at me or something. Alright, get out of here. Did I go all the way top left? I don't think I did. Oh, hello. Who are you? Oh, that was just the door. Okay, I thought it was an enemy summoning in. Alright, now we did not get all of the stuff here. I gotta get the goodies. Okay, now I will watch my ammo. As soon as, as, soon as I stop finding things to kill. I'll watch my ammo for the next level. I think I have been here, apparently. Oh well, my bad. Yep, definitely got all the goodies. Okay. Let's get out of here. Alright, so I had 31 ammo. Please explain why you cannot leave your host. Why can't you give Talia the peace that she deserves? Oh, she just wants Talia to die. Okay. My vessel is too weak. She would not survive the process. That's rubbish. Talia's a fighter. She's the strongest person I've ever known. Or maybe she does, doesn't want Talia to die. Hard to know. Shouldn't Talia be like... She's been there for decades. I guess this is her mom, but... I don't know. Perhaps. But how do you feel she will fare against these demonic fiends without me? I can assure you she would not last long. She would be slaughtered like the rest of the population. Oh, so you're doing this for her sake then? Ha! Forgive me if I don't quite believe you. Believe what you want. I'm not leaving yet. There is his work to be done here. I need her as much as she needs me. Look at them upgrades. Um, I guess we'll end after I look through these. Um, I'm kind of liking this idea of diamond. 
all forms combined production of all forms of gemstone oh okay so that's the best one i guess and it doesn't seem too expensive uh, let's see if i can get any miracles though the miracles are the more important and i sure can't might as well unlock the diamond coin then sure add it to end level lockers wait didn't i just get this or is that like an upgrade to it Oh no, it's it's ring versus coin. Okay, I get it. So the ring is better than the coin. And let's look at our oaths. Can I? I don't. How many do I even have? I I just have one lithios. Uh, health gain from health orbs. Maximum health gain increase. Okay, that seems like something I need early. Though I never like it when like something like affects you per level up. In my opinion, if something affects you per level up, it should be retroactive, so you don't have to get it like super early. Like uh, some RPGs have it so that like you basically have to play a low level run until you get the like all of the characters in order to properly do you know a high level or the max stat run. Like Final Fantasy IX is really weird like that. It's not really a huge deal, but it just bothers me that my characters are not you know quote unquote perfect. Uh, it's just. It's a silly stress that you give to your players, and I don't, I don't really think it adds anything to the game. Um, I don't know if this game does it like that or not, uh, and I'm just gonna try not to worry about that. Yeah, I think, I think I like the idea of these short episodes, and I can like, you know, that's right, Parker. Yes. And let's me have more of a backup, so maybe I could do two episodes a day, or you know, you know, sit on a pile of episodes. But yeah, you don't, you don't need to worry about that. That's right, Parker. They don't. Yes.